journey from conception to childbirth and beyond is a transformative time in a woman's life, but it can also present significant health challenges. Maternal health is not just about the mother. It has far-reaching effects on the child, the family, and the wider community. Let's explore this together on Medical Matters today. Maternal health refers to the overall well-being of women during pregnancy, childbirth and the postpartum period. It includes managing any health complications that might occur. So maternal health encompasses the entire episode, the full term of maternity. So we're looking at antenatal care, which is when you're pregnant, to the point of admission when you're ready to give birth. And then we have what's called your postnatal period, which is up to six weeks after the delivery. Increased access to antenatal care can significantly improve maternal health by providing regular monitoring, early detection of potential complications, and timely interventions such as vaccinations, nutritional guidance, and information on maintaining a healthy pregnancy. Increased access to antenatal care, what it does is it decreases the chances of complications so it allows any complications or complex conditions to be caught early on in pregnancy. So that allows medical professionals to what we call a pregnancy high risk. And then that allows the treatment and the antenatal care to be amended to suit a high risk pregnancy. You're decreasing your complications to the mother and to the child. And on top of that, it allows you to also prevent what we call maternal deaths. Women can also help reduce maternal mortality by seeking regular antenatal care, attending childbirth classes, planning for childbirth with a skilled healthcare provider present, following medical advice, and understanding the warning signs of complications. Healthcare professionals play a crucial role in reducing maternal mortality. So there are multiple healthcare professionals involved in this journey of pregnancy, from your midwives, to your allied healthcare professionals, it could be dietitians, it could be physios, to doctors. And they're involved in this team, ensuring that mothers receive the appropriate care at the appropriate time, to also assessing if pregnancies are now high risk, and also assessing any other treatments that may be needed. And during the birth is very important to be able to be trained up to understand um, pregnancy emergencies, also improving of their skills to be able to identify any complications that can happen. If safe maternal health care practices are not adhered to, complications such as postpartum hemorrhaging, infections, thrombosis, breastfeeding issues, and depression and anxiety can arise. Promoting greater access to contraception and safe abortion services can also be achieved by increasing availability, educating individuals about the options and benefits, supporting policies that uphold reproductive rights and access, and providing counseling and support. Adolescence pregnancy is a huge issue, not just in South Africa, but also worldwide, because that, those pregnancies are high risk. So we need lots of education and also to be able to speak to, to adolescents and all of those um, at their level in ways that they understand about contraception and also what are their implications and also having contraceptive available at those healthcare facilities. We also need to speak to and educate our own healthcare providers through sensitivity, training, dealing with education and stigmas within our own healthcare providers and allowing them to be able to communicate and educate with patients much better. Remember, together we can make a real difference in the lives of mothers and their children around the globe. Let's strive for a world where every woman receives the high quality, respectful and compassionate care she deserves. Until next time, take care. <laughs>